King's Enemies run on Batman issue 85, and who knows who's to blame for that, because it's really upsetting that a writer is pretty much forced to stop at a certain issue number of a comic, whether it was a really short run or a long run. Tom King was supposed to write it to issue 106, that was the plan, and a couple days ago it was announced he is done with Batman after issue, um, issue 85 to start a new title that's Batman related uh, called Batman and Catwoman. Now I don't know how to feel towards that as well because it worries people that if on uh, issue 86 it's something else and doesn't contain and doesn't connect with uh, the the spin-off title is what it's called. Continuity starts getting errors. Look at Michael Bendis, who took over Superman, the catonic continuity of that. Look what's going on in Justice League. Everything's a mess for DC and I swear that Batman's gonna get the same treatment because of one issue that caused sales to drop after they were promoting it online, comic stores, handing out invitations of a fictional wedding that everybody was looking forward to. I was looking forward to it, then after reading issue 50, I had to read it over four to seven times to understand what the plan was with Tom King writing. And now we have, we just got done with the Nightmare arc, which felt like it dragged on forever. Some call it filler, I just see it that it's towards the insanity Batman's going to experience. But it's going to trigger more insanity, far greater than the death of his parents, the death of Jason Todd, the resurrection of Jason Todd, the death of his son Damien, Damien coming back, and then now the wedding that was cancelled because Catwoman is one of their friends that tired of pain. Now we don't know what direction this can go. Continuity can get destroyed, it can not get destroyed. There is not that much news of it until we see what's going to happen on January of next year for the first issue release, which also is two issues a month, which won't interfere with the continuity of the other comics that are, that are supposed to come out of the connect of the Bat Family, the Detective Comics story, the Nightwing, Batgirl, uh, whatever else they're planning on doing with the Bat Family. I'm not happy that they are not giving Tom King a chance. I'm not happy how the Batman fandom is kind of like ruining this guy. I mean, they started giving freaking death threats to where Comic Con last year he had to have a bodyguard. A fucking bodyguard because people were telling him, oh, we're going to kill you because you ruined our char or character. You destroyed the Batman camera relationship. It got bigger, deeper with Heroes of Crisis, which is all next week. Or this coming week, uh, issue 9 of it is going to be released to conclude the story that Talking started. And was it connect with Doomsday Clock? The problem with DC is everything's a mess. We don't know what what comics are connected to what. Detective Comics, I don't know where that takes place. I know Nightwing connects with Batman, with what's going on. I know that Tom King upset Nightwing fans. I was one of them, but I got over it later. That he didn't have amnesia, he changed to Rick Grayson. It's just fans are getting mad at him for taking risks. When last I checked, we don't want old shit in our comics. The repeated stuff. Batman vs. Joker, Batman vs. this, this again and again and again and again. That was the whole point of Earth 2 being destroyed. Because we keep seeing the same, 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 same crap, same stories. Just written differently. And these writers on DC are trying to make something new. This has never happened before with Batman. We never see him this broken to where he punches one of his Robins. Yes, he did in fact punch Harper Row, but that was a whole different story. This was the death of Damien, but this time this is him. This is personal. The love of his life, Catwoman. Bailing on their wedding because of Bane. Bane broke him. But we're not going to see, to a full extent, what breaking the bat to a fool will reveal. We don't know how Bruce is going to interact with all his bat family members. We don't know who's going to jump in on issue 76. Marvel doesn't have this shit. Yeah, they do. But this 
causing Ryder to give up, probably give up, because fans are flooding his Twitter, bugging him probably in real life. I just, I just hope Batman and Catwoman is good at whatever titles Tom King is working on, because this guy is a really good writer, he pretty much is spot on with the post-traumatic stress disorder, and pretty much the characters, I mean, Batman has PTSD. Why do fans forget that? He still brings up his fucking dead parents. He still remembers what happened to Jason. He still remembers what happened to Dick Grease when he got shot by Joker. That causes him to quit being Robin. And Damien dying. His firstborn son. And now we're seeing some of the effects of the cancellation of his wedding. And then realizing Bane's trying to break him the war. And someone close to him tells him he, he lost. We never see Batman this defeated, and now who knows how 85 is going to end the story arc of City of Pain. We don't know what's going to happen with issue 86 with a new writer. Hopefully, it's a freaking new writer, not somebody like Michael Bendis. And you know what? Fuck the DC fans who caused this. And I just hope the best for Tom King in the future because this is ridiculous.